everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. It's Shakerato in the color Butterbeer Blonde. There's so many nuggets and insights here you won't want to miss. If you are a long wig lover, please stay tuned. I purchased this style with my own funds. You can find it at Wig Studio One. Expand the description box below the video. I'll put a direct link to the style. You can look at more details and the pricing information. Also, you get an automatic 30% off at checkout for all bell trust at Wig Studio One. So I like to say that this brand new Shakerado style is supernatural. <laughs> I feel absolutely bulletproof beauty in this. I have never felt prettier. Um, than under this beautiful, beautiful style and color. Shikarato is one of the newest additions to the Cafe Collection, the ever-growing Cafe Collection by Beltrest, released earlier 2021. Um, it's in the color Butterbeer Blonde. Everybody knows that's my favorite blonde, so when I'm purchasing these styles on my own, I certainly want to purchase them in colors that I think I'm going to enjoy. Shikarato is a very long style but it's a very wearable and beautiful long style. So even if you are not sure if you can wear long hair because maybe it feels too thick and heavy, I remember some of the longer styles, I love them, but I could never wear them to the office. I could never wear them to work uh, because I just, I just felt stifled by them. I nearly felt claustrophobic under the thick densities, the hair falling in the face, it was very hard to wear them. So I put them away and although they're beautiful, they became weekend wigs for me or date night wigs. You know, I didn't have to wear them for long periods of time. Let's dig into the specs real quick though. What I love about this, the wearability factor goes way up when I can have a fringe bang of at seven inches or less. This one has a seven inch front piece here. Now that is something to write home about because what that seven inches does, it kind of feathers back into the style and stays out of the eyes. It's not a big long curtain fringe that's going to want to sweep in that you would have to give lots of training to. This one is this way right out of the box. I inspected it, I made the adjustments, and then I sat it back here on a mannequin head for a while until it was its turn for review. That is it. So that seven inch front piece is super practical to wear and it's beautiful. I think that layer gives a beautiful face framing touch. Um, now, like I said, in the back, it's about 20 to 21 inches as I measure it from the crown down. And then it has open wefted sides and back. This lace front is a little unique. It's starting to appear. This is a creative lace front by Bell Trust, which just means it's a lace front, left monofilament lace side part combination, a seamless combination. It runs temple to temple. All of the seams are smooth and obscured. The grid is fine. It blends seamlessly into the skin tone. It hugs the head nicely. And that moves seamlessly back into a left monofilament side part that nearly reaches the crown. Now, what's unique about this uh, unit of the lace front left monofilament side part is it has a very wide part. And what I mean by that is a lot of left monofilament side parts are a little bit left of center. This one, they've taken all the way over to where, this, where the lace front meets the seam is where the monofilament part starts. So you're getting this beautiful sweeping wide part. I think that gives a little bit of asymmetry to the parting and delivers a beautiful division of the hair all the way around. This permanent lift at the lace front is impeccable. This is the way it comes right out of the box. Moving, sweeping the hair off of the face it begs for it. It begs to be worn away from the face. I love that permanent lift. It exposes the beauty of the lace front. It gives a flattering look around the face. Now, it's not so permanent that if you didn't, if you didn't want to wear it in its full height away, like an up and over style away, you can definitely pull it down and subdue 
that lift if you like. Up until now, the first thing I do on a wig style like this is shake it out real good. I swirl around and on, on the top to set the fiber free. And then I just work with the heat of my hands just to train it away from the face a little bit for the review. The problem with that is each time I go to wear the style, I have to redo it all that. You know, it's a constant process to train it. When it's built in for you, that is a huge bonus. Let's talk about this texture. So what we're used to with uh, Beltress texture is kind of a, a shattered spiral that's beachy and it's, uh, it's highly texturized on the ends, such as Rosella or Delgana or Columbia. You're familiar with that texture. This is different. This is just a smooth deconstructed spiral curl. It's not tapered on the ends as much as you would see on those three that I just mentioned. So it's just a gentle deconstruction on the spiral. It's soft, it's got a nice romantic tassel look to it. This is a part of the Cafe Collection by Beltrus. It is heat friendly. You can use your heat tools on this. And I know what you're thinking, wow, that really long style with the heat friendly fiber, how is that gonna go? <laughs> I have been wearing this a little while now and I can usually tell when a wig is going to just get tangled up and snarled very easily. I mean, it happens nearly immediately. You start to see the signs, right? Do you know what I'm talking about? I'm not getting that with this piece. This one is just feather, feather light. Now the wig weighs 4.9 ounces. So uh, for a long style like this, I think that's fantastic in terms of a weight. It feels like nothing on actually. Uh, but look at the back. So you could be moving about and doing your business and you don't have this big heavy nape and this big heavy crown just dragging across the clothing. Now this, a wig of this length, no matter what kind of fiber is used, is probably going to have a, a shorter lifespan than something that's short. You know, that's just obvious, right? But uh, they've come a long way, baby. And I think this one is just one of those beautiful styles that you, you definitely want to have in your wig wardrobe if you love long hair. If you're thinking about long hair, um, but have some concerns about the density um, and the wearability, this one might be a great place to start. The density is feather, feather light. There's no thick, heavy per permatees in this style. It's typical Beltrus permatees. I mean, you just have a very thin layer all over. No thick, heavy, pillowy permatees anywhere on this style. Here's an inside look at the cap for the Beltrus Shakerato. Temple to temple lace, does not extend back into the ear tab. The seams are nicely obscured. A single unit, seamless, moving back into a left monofilament side part. Again, you can see that that side part is extra wide, meaning that it goes farther to the left than many other left side parts. It goes all the way over to the temple area. There's a closed velvet ear tab, an extended velvet nape with bra strap type adjusters, lots of wefting and lots of stretch. This is right out of the box. It fits very average, possibly average large. I had to cinch this in as far as I could go to accommodate a petite average circumference. 
So I've talked to you about this style being right out of the box. I just gave it a shake. I made the adjustments uh, on my head and then it's been sitting back here in my audience for a little while until it was its turn to be reviewed. And from the minute I put it on, I was absolutely in love with it based on all of the things that I talked to you about. Um, it's also going to be a dream to style. I would urge you to uh, take some time and be creative with your updos on this style. Uh, a low messy bun, a partial updo. Uh, this would be perfect wedding hair. We've got wedding season coming up and it's just precious. And I'm not gonna have time to go through some of the more elaborate creative styling, but I am gonna move it around enough that you can get a sense of the, the texture, the movement and the density. Let's try with glasses. These are some old sunglasses, guys. I don't even know where I got these, my old aviators. I thought the aviator glasses would be a cool touch with texture like this. We're just so hip, smart, sexy. Works beautifully. Anytime you have glasses uh, with a Beltrest style, you can rest assured that they're typically very, very comfortable to wear and secure. So I have a wide tooth comb here. And I'm just gonna run it through this style a little bit just to give you an idea of how it's going to comb through. It's beautiful. Um, you can move it through. It just glides without catching. Now, I don't wanna destroy this curl pattern, but um, if I wanted to comb it through all of the way, I would certainly start at the bottom, the bottom layer. See how smooth? Just beautiful. And then I would pick up each layer as I move up on the style and comb that out until I reach the top. This would revive and fluff it a little bit. I love how this feathers back.